the raising of Lazarus. A man by the name of Lazarus was sick in the village of Bethany. He had two sisters, Mary and Martha. This was the same Mary who later poured perfume on the Lord's head and wiped his feet with her hair. The sister sent a message to the Lord and told him that his good friend Lazarus was sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, His sickness won't end in death. It will bring glory to God and his Son. Jesus loved Martha and her sister and brother, but he stayed where he was for two more days. Then he said to his disciples, Now we will go back to Judea. Teacher, they said, the people there want to stone you to death. Why do you want to go back? Aren't there twelve hours in each day? If you walk during the day, you'll have light from the sun and you won't stumble. But if you walk during the night, you will stumble because you don't have any light. Our friend Lazarus is asleep, and I'm going there to wake him up. They replied, Lord, if he is asleep, he will get better. Jesus really meant that Lazarus was dead, but they thought he was talking only about sleep. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I'm glad I wasn't there because now you will have a chance to put your faith in me. Let's go to him. Thomas, whose nickname was Twin, said to the other disciples, Come on, let's go so we can die with him. When Jesus got to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Bethany was less than three kilometres from Jerusalem, and many people had come from the city to comfort Martha and Mary because their brother had died. When Martha heard that Jesus had arrived, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Yet even now I know that God will do anything you ask. Your brother will live again. I know he will be raised to life on the last day, when all the dead are raised. I am the one who raises the dead to life. Everyone who has faith in me will live, even if they die. And everyone who lives because of their faith in me will never really die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord. I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God. You are the one we hoped would come into the world. After Martha said this, she went and privately said to her sister Mary, The teacher is here, and he wants to see you. As soon as Mary heard this, she got up and went out to Jesus. He was still outside the village where Martha had gone to meet him. Many people had come to comfort Mary, and when they saw her quickly leave the house, they thought she was going out to the tomb to cry, so they followed her. Mary went to where Jesus was. Then as soon as she saw him, she knelt at his feet. Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. When Jesus saw that Mary and the people with her were crying, he was terribly upset and asked, Where have you put his body? Lord, come and you will see. Jesus started crying and the people said, See how much he loved Lazarus. He gives sight to the blind. Why couldn't he have kept Lazarus from dying? Jesus was still terribly upset. So he went to the tomb, which was a cave with a stone rolled against the entrance. Then he told the people to roll the stone away. Lord, you know that Lazarus has been dead four days. There'll be a bad smell. Didn't I tell you that if you had faith you would see the glory of God? After the stone had been rolled aside, Jesus looked up towards heaven and prayed, Father, I thank you for answering my prayer. I know that you always answer my prayers, but I said this so the people here would believe you sent me. When Jesus had finished praying, he shouted, Lazarus, come out! 
the man, who had been dead, came out. His hands and feet were wrapped with strips of burial cloth, and a cloth covered his face. Untie him and let him go. Many of the people who had come to visit Mary saw the things Jesus did, and they put their faith in him.